Your user data type within your Bubble application is the most important data type within all of your application. Here's why. That data type is loaded on every single page load, whether you call it or not, it is loaded. This means that if your user data type is really heavy and has a lot of weight, a lot of fields to it, all of that weight is gonna be carried with you no matter what. And that's what we do not want to do. We want to make sure our user data type is as light and as efficient as possible because that means our page loads are faster and we're bringing less data to the client side. For this reason, I create a user expanded data type that I attach to my user data type. It serves as almost a satellite data type. And then within that user expanded, I add additional fields for things like address, date of birth, phone, things that normally we might want to save for the user, but we don't need that data on every single page load. Do we need to know their date of birth and every single page load? No. Do we need to know it? Probably. So we save it in a satellite type like this that allows us to easily call for that data when we need it, but we don't drag it around with us in every single page load otherwise. So your user data type is super important. Keep it as light as possible. This will increase your page loads, increase your security because you're bringing less data to the client that you might not be aware of, and just make for a better user experience with your application in general. Normally, maybe 15 fields, 20 fields max on your user, but it really depends on the type of fields, if they're lists or not, or how much data you're carrying on those fields, all that kind of stuff. So it's hard to just give you a baseline, but strive for 15 or less, create these user expanded, create a, more data types than less data types, because that allows you to call for the data when you need it and only when you need it, and you should be good to go from there. So if you enjoy this tip, please follow me for more.